in all my 23 and a half years as a judge and in all the years that I practice law, I don't believe I've ever seen an injustice quite like this one. There's never anything in my life that I've ever seen people try to destroy one man like this. This case should never have been in federal court. When you get into public office, you expect to be shot at. You don't expect to be falsely indicted. When you get convicted for something you didn't do, the justice system is broke. Many people, many thinking people, have a hard time understanding how a crime was committed. I know there was not a bribe in that process. I personally talked to both of them. And I said, Nick, you sound like a robot, like you have this thing memorized. He said, you would have it memorized too if you've heard the answers as many times as I've heard the answers. Believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. It is a sad day for the state of Alabama when a prosecutor can go after individuals and a jury can convict them when there is absolutely no evidence. This guy's got to go. Let's do some damage. Go back at him one more time. Who was our government supposed to be protecting? They knew there was no evidence there. They knew it was not true. They, they do this, they do it, and there's so many people that have gone to jail and have been persecuted, prosecuted by the government that should never have been there. And there was, no, it's not justice, it's injustice. first case in Birmingham, uh, Richard was fully acquitted and vindicated uh, from the standpoint of everything he said when the media first started attacking him, that he did not do any of these things and that the, the things that were being printed in the media and the things that people were saying were falsified. And as he went through this long trial, he was eventually vindicated. And it should have been a, a great uh, remaining part of the year to enjoy that aspect as a family and as his supporters. Uh, but quickly, the government, uh, in my own words, took another bite at the apple. From day one, since the debacle of HealthSouth uh, and its uh, accounting fraud was revealed, there's been this sort of witch hunt, you know, to nail Richard Scrushy. The trial in Birmingham was uh, in God's hands, and God delivered, and God came through, and we had 36 not guilties. <laughs> which was impossible for everyone to actually comprehend. All the people involved uh, did not realize that there was 36 not guilty verdicts coming out of that trial. In part one, you know, they had, uh, it ended up, it started out with 85 uh, accounts, and then it was, the judge took it to 58, and then finally by the time we, you know, we got to avert, got to the uh, deliberations, it was only 36 counts. And, uh, but 36 counts, a large number of counts against me and no evidence, nothing. We spent, you know, six months in a trial. I was totally acquitted on every single count. And that's like knocking down a hornet's nest. It's almost like a boxing match. You know, when two fighters fight, one guy loses, especially if the guy who loses is a champion. He wants a rematch to avenge his loss to the lesser fighter. And I think in this case, it was a situation where the government lost the first fight because they had no evidence, there was nothing. And they looked and said, well, how can we get a rematch? What can we do? And they did everything they can to find something to bring them to a rematch. I have noticed a trend that district attorneys across this state of Alabama and other states and federal prosecutors have their own agenda. It's no longer necessarily about convicting real criminals. It's about what can I do to advance myself Statements in the press and the statements on the news that the, the uh, prosecutors in Birmingham and the prosecutors in the Montgomery case worked hand in hand 
in order to do this. And uh, yes, it was kind of uh, like a payback time, if you say that word payback, or we're gonna make sure that we uh, make this happen this time. Well, prosecutors say former Governor Don Siegelman turned the governor's office into, quote, an unlawful enterprise.